Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to another episode of PSG Career Mode. Today we're playing away against Saint Etienne. Uh, should be a good match. We're not really changing much here apart from Trap. He's going back in. Uh, Sidigu's coming out for this match just to rotate the goalkeepers a bit uh, to ensure that they stay happy because uh, Sirigo's been a bitch lately. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, we're going to keep the same team. 4-3-3. Um, Brahimi, the newest player, of course. Aguero, we're still in the transfer window. Uh, so we're still looking out for new players. And yeah, let's get straight to the start of the match and hopefully get the three points. I am looking forward to this. So, I've actually been updating my channel artwork. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, I know it's a bit bright, it's blue, and it's got a lot of snails. But yeah, uh, I thought I'd go for something different. Nothing that suggests this, this will always be a football channel. Because I will be doing an XCOM live stream, XCOM 2, that comes out on Friday. Uh, I'm going to do a three-day streaming event on YouTube. So if you're a fan of XCOM, uh, then tune in. Uh, but yeah, St. Etienne, it's in the snow. I hate the snow. I hate the fucking snow. Uh, but I'm going to have to play in it. I always find that the ball's hard to see. Uh, they never use the orange ball, the, the ball that you're meant to use in snowy conditions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to deal with playing with a white ball in these conditions. Uh, but let's get to the start of the game, obviously. Um, I'm predicting a relatively normal match here. It might be a bit tight as a St. Etienne might uh, go out all out defence, uh, actually. Uh, Sejoria as well, I've offered him a contract. I'm waiting for him to reply. Hopefully he'll sign it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this match. Let's hope that we can score a lot of goals and that it's action packed. That's the most fucking important thing. Uh, so yeah, let's get to the next highlight. Seriously, look at these bloody conditions. I can't see the bloody ball. And now it's Ramirez with the possession. He's going to score. He's going to go round. It's going to go in. Shot. Oh, yeah. No. Bollocks. I thought that was a straight up goal. How did he miss that, Ramirez? It was a good shot. It went wide off the far post there. I thought it was going to go between the keeper, uh, but it bloody well didn't, did it? It went wide off the uh, near post. What an opportunity waited. Bloody hell, Ramirez. Angel Di Maria with the possession now, passing it to Pogba. Who's there on the right-hand side? It's Bernardo Silva with the possession. He's going to cut in. A nice little cut in, stop and turn. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. No, he isn't. He isn't. And oh, what a waste. What a waste again. Oh, shit. St. Etienne on the attack now. It's uh, Le Moni or Le Moine with the possession. It's uh, Catheter. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's got the possession down the right hand side. It's a great cross. Rue. Oh, wow. That was so close there from Rue. It was a powerful header. Uh, Trap was just there to touch it over the bar. Uh, but what a fantastic effort there from St. Etienne. Um, nearly putting the bloody ball into the back of the net. Clear it. Fucking clear it. Brahimi, get the ball away, and now it's us on the counter-attack. Di Maria, he's got the pace to go round, and he finds Aguero there. Does he have the pace to get catch up to it? Yes, he does, and it's Brahimi now with the possession, but he loses it, and it's another waste of time. The question now remains how many shots we're going to take before we score a goal. Ramirez with the possession, Aguero, left foot to shot, boom, what a save there. What a save there by the St. Etienne goalkeeper. It was a strong shot there from uh, Aguero. Thought that was going to go in top left-hand side. It didn't. A great effort there from Aguero, but can we do it from a corner? It's Di Maria trying to find Pogba, and it's loose. The ball is bloody loose. Aguero, take that shot. Don't wait for it, son. Don't wait for it. Now it's them on the counter-attack. Isarik with a possession down the left-hand side. Uh, he's making a nice run there. It could be dangerous. Our oh, defense is getting back, though. They've only got one man. And there can they get their head to it? It's dropped again. Clement with a possession passes it back to Lemony, and the ball is still there. Fucking clear it, guys. Seriously, you're getting on my nerves. Uh, they're having too much possession inside our box, and finally the ball goes out for a goal kick, and uh, that was a lot of pressure. I joder macho, Jesus. Uh, still sent it end with the possession, Clement, and uh, now it's Corne Lemony. Lemony has got the possession now. It's Roos 1 1 1. What the fuck was that? What did I do? I thought I had the time to get the ball off him, but I ended up taking his bloody legs off. And now I think he's going to get a yellow card. Yes, he does. Thiago Silva, the captain. Um, yeah, poorly timed tackle there. That was fucking hideous uh, by me. Anyway, they've got a free kick. Shouldn't be any uh, issues clearing it. Oh! 
and Trapp was there to pick up the ball, but they were given too much space again, and I don't know what I'm doing with the ball, I'm being careless with my passing, and uh, giving the ball away way too often, uh, but they're leaving huge gaps in defence, and now Aguero to get the possession, uh, he's cut, trying to cut in, and doesn't take a shot on time, uh, oh my god! And it's Ramirez with the possession, looking to score that goal, take the shot, oh it's blocked, bollocks! Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. I feel do my granda, puta. So now it's just that time in the match where they're just going to pass the ball around and leave me trying to get the ball off them. And it's Aguero. He managed to seal the ball. He's got the possession. He did a stupid fucking trick. And he lost the ball. But we've still got a shot. Oh, Di Maria. El Angel Di Maria scores a beast of a goal from about 30 yards out. What a beast of a goal that was with his left foot. I was complaining about Aguero. I did a fucking trick there stupidly uh, and it just wasted an opportunity. But Angel, the angel, just scores out of nowhere perfectly in that top right hand side corner. What a beast of a man. I've been complaining about him because he hasn't been performing lately, but he's just redeemed himself and he's back in my good books you're i'm rubbing you out of the black books well done son that nose must have helped you uh, get the accuracy fantastic so it's half time and I'm not going to make any substitutions. I'm perfectly happy uh, with how the team is at the moment. Nobody's overly tired and let's go to the second half and see how we do. And it's Pogba commanding that ball in the midfield. He finds Silva in the right-hand side. Look how tired he is. But he can stop and turn. He cuts in. He's got the ball. He's going to take the shot. Bernardo Silva's going to take you. Oh, you bollocks. What the fuck was that? Again, this is me hesitating to take the shot. I know I can score long range, but I don't do it. I'm just a mess. I'm an absolute mess playing this game today. I've been like that for the last few days with Benfica as well. I drew twice. Twice I've drawn. I've scored like one goal and I think that was online. Embarrassing. Uh, so yeah, I need to start taking more shots. Never mind where they're from. Just from anywhere outside that area or I'm not going to bloody score. Anyway, Bernardo Silva with the possession again. Paul Pogba uh, finds Aguero down the right-hand side. We know what Aguero can do. And he fluffs it up, the fucker. And yeah, we lose possession again. Yay! So it's time to make some substitutions. The whole strike force is going to be changed. It's Cavani for Aguero to start off with. Uh, we're also going to get rid of Brahimi and Silva. And Lavezzi is going to exchange with Brahimi. And we're going to put... Who should we put on the right? Lucas, obviously the right wing, uh, is going in for Bernardo Silva. And hopefully that will give us some pace and allow us to get this at 2-0 because that is what I'm looking for at the moment. I do not like winning just by one goal. That is embarrassing considering uh, how I played in the first half of the season. Uh, this second half is just not the same at the moment. Lovetti now with the possession, showing his freshness. Is he going to get rid of the ball? He finds Ramirez. Ramirez to Pogba. Uh, Pogba going to take the shot. He takes the shot, but it's blocked. And that's the story of my life in this game so far. A lot of shots, a lot of players just blocking it because they're putting like 10 players in defense. Ramirez! Oh, that was just wide off the far post there. I thought that was going to be the 2-0 that we needed, but it just didn't go in, unfortunately. And it remains Synthetian nil, PSG one. I really want to get that fucking second goal, uh, but now I thought they were clear on goal there. Our defense is just shocking. Look at this, uh, playing around, losing the ball all the time. Kohade now with the ball, and we still don't fucking clear the ball. It was right off the line there. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Lucas with the possession, he can get round one. He passes it to Cavani. Cavani tries the overhead through ball, too much power, and that was just the wrong decision at the wrong time there too much power though i can feel the second goal i can feel it coming and it's lavetti picking it up on the left hand side you've got the pace and the power and di maria didn't have the pace what is wrong with this picture di maria always has the pace he couldn't get to it and unfortunately it stopped us yet again with 10 minutes to go and it's uh, Santetian on the attack now. Uh, if they were to score now that would leave us in a precarious position um, and as I'm being crap at defending anyway that would not surprise me and it's Lucas on the right hand side another player that should be fresh overhead through ball again wrong decision wrong fucking decision there from uh, me <laughs> I'm not going to uh, blame the player but yeah it remains 0-1 
and this game is like a one-sided game of foosball. A look at the gaps in defence, and it's Ramirez picking it up. Surely you got to score this goal. No! What what was that? Oh, Cavani tried to score again from that rebound. That was just terrible from Ramirez. He should have just smashed it in. Anyway, Cavani trying to get his head to it. Lavetti now with the possession. He can't take it. He passes it to Di Maria. Takes a shot and again deflected. Bollocks to that. Bollocks to that, son. Deflected. That's just wrong, fam. That's just wrong. And the referee blows that whistle and it's 1-0. And even though we won, we had a lot of possession and we took a lot of shots. I mean, we dominated that bloody match. I, I'm just pissed off that we didn't score more. I'll blame it on the snow. I'll blame it on the players. I'll blame it on everything. I don't give a shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not happy with that match. As you can tell by my fragrant language today. Uh, that I'm not happy with it. Anyway, um, it's the end of the transfer window. We're going to see uh, the end. Uh, now, the countdown, the 10 hours or 24 hours, 12 hours, whatever the bloody hell it is. Uh, we're going to go and see that now. And I'm going to um, make an offer for one particular player that I will purchase. And you will see it later. So let me cut to that and not force you uh, to watch the whole 12 hours or whatever it is uh, that I'm forced to watch. So I had 5 million lying around and what did I do? I went for Vitor Andrade. This guy is an absolute fucking monster and he deserves to be in our team and he's going to develop into an absolute beast of a right winger or right midfield player. As you can see there, a few people made an offer for Marquinhos and I'm not surprised and I say 40 million or you're not having them. You want to pay? Take him away. And that's, <laughs> that's what I said basically. Pay the price and you'll get him. Uh, but yeah, Vitor Andrade, what an absolute beast. I don't know if you've watched my Benfica career mode, but this guy is going to be an absolute monster. I will have to play him occasionally, though. Uh, he's a 74, but he plays like an 86. He's he's an he's a monster. He's a monster. Get him for your career mode. If you don't have him, get him in your career mode. And if you know him, make a fucking comment down below and let me know what you think of the player and what you did to get him up to the 80s and get him in, or turn him into one of the best players in the world. As far as I know, uh, Barcelona a few years ago wanted to purchase him and they had a pre-contract thing uh, for him, but Benfica ended up buying him. And uh, yeah, great promising player. Anyway, let's go and see that all-important table. So here we are guys, still on top, it made absolutely no difference, as long as I keep winning, nothing's going to change, with Monaco trailing behind by quite a few points as well, and uh, yeah, we're well on course to winning League One, and hopefully the Champions League as well, that would be absolutely amazing in my first season, the second season, I will be turning it up to uh, world class, but yeah, that's in the future, uh, and yeah, so if you enjoyed this episode and didn't mind my colourful language, uh, then please leave a like and support me that would be awesome and uh, yeah if you're watching me for the first time and you enjoyed the episode and my colorful language then hit that subscribe button anyway i'm off now uh, to make some dinner sleep and then wake up in the morning uh, thank you very much for watching watch my xcom stream from friday early morning that's what i'm going to be doing for three days so sorry if i don't have any more episodes of this after that uh, but yeah thank you very much goodbye